Polycythemia vera. Polycythemia vera, or PV, is a hematological disorder in which there is overproduction of red blood cells in the bone marrow. 90% of patients with PV have a mutation of the JAK2 gene, which causes proliferation of cells that become red blood cells, along with white blood cells and platelets. The increased red blood cells in the blood vessel increases blood viscosity, which means it makes the blood thicker, which increases the risk of clot formation, also known as thrombus. A thrombus can break free and become an embolus and lead to stroke or pulmonary embolism. Signs and Symptoms Patients with PV are usually asymptomatic until they have a thrombotic event and impaired oxygen delivery. For example, they may experience fatigue, headache, dizziness, vision changes, and tinnitus. Splenomegaly or enlarged spleen is a common symptom of PV because the spleen filters and stores red blood cells, and the increased red blood cells are making the spleen work harder and become enlarged. This causes early satiety or feeling of fullness. PV also triggers an immune response and causes the body to release histamine. The excessive histamine causes pruritus or itchiness in patients with PV, especially during or after a hot shower. Increased histamine can also cause gastrointestinal discomfort and peptic ulcer disease. Treatment There is no cure for PV and treatment is aimed at symptom relief and reducing the risk of disease complications such as thrombosis. An antineoplastic agent called hydroxyurea is the first-line treatment for PV in which it reduces blood cell production. It is an oral medication that is taken twice a day. Side effects include oral ulcers, GI upset, numbness or tingling in hands and feet, and pulmonary toxicity. Ruxolitinib is a JAK inhibitor that is approved for those who do not respond to or cannot tolerate hydroxyurea. Low-dose aspirin are taken once or twice daily to reduce risk of clot formation. Phlebotomy can be done as a therapeutic treatment by removing blood to reduce viscosity. Patients need to stay well hydrated and limit aggressive physical activity within the first 24 hours of phlebotomy. Patient education includes monitoring and reporting signs and symptoms of thrombus, such as redness, tenderness, or swelling in one leg that could indicate DVT, difficulty breathing that could indicate pulmonary embolism, and any of the BFAST neurosymptoms that could indicate stroke. Elevating legs when sitting and wearing compression stockings are helpful in promoting venous blood flow and preventing blood clots. Encourage fluid intake to reduce viscosity of the blood. Avoid taking hot showers. Use lukewarm or cool water instead to prevent pruritus. Pat dry instead of rubbing and apply antihistamine creams to relieve itchiness.